is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right. That's... Sounds good to me. Usually in July, I'm struggling to find stuff to do to entertain you guys. This is the complete and polar opposite in 2019. I don't know what happened. We've got an insane amount of new releases coming out in the next few weeks. To month, and I don't even know, quite frankly, how I'm gonna cover them all. I don't even know how I'm gonna afford them all. Give me your money. I can't wait for the money. So just in this next week, you've got um, Judgment, then Super Mario Maker 2 and the Sunken City, and now the possibility of Samurai Showdown. You see what I mean? I'm. So, what should I do? I, there's no way I could play everything. You see what I mean? I'm almost thinking I think Samurai Showdown is gonna get skipped. You know, I mean, that's a shame because I liked the classic Samurai Showdown games. I played them on the Neo Geo, you know, cabinets back in the 90s. I played all of them. One, two, three, and four. All four. Actually, I take that back. I played five as well. I played all five Samurai Showdown games that were released in arcades in the 90s. I remember playing them all. So, it's kind of sad because I really definitely wanted to play it. But it came out, which is such... And this is what I mean. This never happens in the summer. It's never like this. We never have this many games released in such a short window of time. I definitely... I'm hoping that in the next week I can get some support because I need to afford all these games and I quite frankly don't have money for this many in a short short period of time. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's called give me money. What that means is two things. If you guys want to donate any of those games that I just mentioned in the next week, I am totally appreciative of that. You can email me at darksidephilahotmail.com to talk specifics, but in general, um, the best way to donate a game to me is a digital code, whether it's you get me the actual code to, inst to put it in on PSN and just get it, or PSN credits. You know, you can actually buy PSN credits and you just put a code in so you can have PSN credits to buy those games. I would very much appreciate if anyone could help out with that, all right? If not, if that's not the case, then, you know, in the next week, tipping me is going to be very appreciated because tips are, you know, that's funds I can use immediately. They're a very preferential website. Twitch TV looks for streamers who are going to constantly be begging for money, okay? I need subs, send me donations and subs, so you'll do a ton of subs on Twitch, and Twitch makes a ton of money off your channel. Then they don't bother you anymore, okay? But I was never like that. Dolphin Splash here, he says, If you're looking purely at the numbers, you basically peaked in 2011 and 2012 back on YouTube. But ignoring the numbers, do you and your content, do you think you and your content peaked back then, or do you believe you're peaking now as you continue to grow and evolve as a content creator? My honest thought, <clears throat> okay, if you're looking for absolutely zany, ridiculous, over-the-top, offensive-style comedy, yeah, I topped back then. You know what I mean? You're talking eight years ago. Um... <clears throat> there was the Wild West of YouTube, and no one really cared about what you said and did. So I would do this, you know, commentary that was offensive, and people liked it. And, you know, in reality back then, as I said, I was an equal opportunity offender. It wasn't just me doing it for the sake of ins insulting people. I wasn't serious. It was all jokes. And my main viewing audience kind of understood that. <clears throat> all right. But over the years, I've evolved. I don't do that stuff anymore. You know what I mean? I just don't do that stuff anymore. Um... Because I grew and I evolved into someone who basically cared about what he was doing. Back then, I really didn't, being very honest with all of you. I always thought the whole thing was a joke. And, oh, I'm making videos. This is so stupid. You know, I'm just commentating over random gameplay. And I, I can't believe anyone likes this. But, hey, if people like it, I'll just keep doing it since, hey, it's fun to do. Hey, money is money. One thing I think about is money is money. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and since then, I kind of realized that because I was a popular person on the internet... <clears throat> I needed to change my ways. I needed to become more responsible as a person. I needed to grow and mature. I needed to stop saying and doing stupid shit that not only would get me in trouble, but basically was irresponsible. You know, there's so many dumb things I said over the years back then that I was just so stupid and uneducated. And, you know, you gotta understand that when you have an influence, when you have a, a, an audience that follows you, and you do say and do stupid things that it has a big negative impact on other people, I never understood that back then. But now that I'm the butt end of that, I kind of get it. You know, when I see other content creators and influencers insulting me who don't even know who I am, 
and literally are completely wrong and off base with the things they say and do about me. And I'm like, damn, so this idiot has no idea what the fuck they're talking about, talking out of their asshole. But because they just said something about me, now thousands of their followers are going to come after me and insult me and attack me for weeks. My Twitter feed's going to get blown up with negativity and shit. And i got to deal with this fallout because of this idiot, right? And I'm like, damn, I used to be that idiot. You know, I used to be the guy. Who's the guy <laughs> watching his Twitch? Is that really him? Is he the yes. one that's going to call it, Matt? Yes! Back in the day, eight years ago, I would just say and do stupid controversial things just for the sake of it. And, you know, so many negative things happened as a result of that that I didn't even probably even realize. And that's why I changed over the years. And I, I definitely feel... I'm, I'm hypocritical. I definitely feel that now in the modern era, I am a much better person. No! As well as a much better uh, content creator. No! Uh, because I have changed up the way I do things. No! And... You know, I am now interactive with all of you. No. I now care about what I say and do. No. Um, I don't do those stupid, immature, over-the-top things I used to do for attention on YouTube. I've changed completely. No. You know what? A lot of people say, oh, well, Phil's not like old-school Phil, and that's not, you know, oh, well, I don't like him anymore. Well, too bad. Maybe if you were looking for immature garbage content, it's all over the internet. Trust me. <laughs> that's pretty much what everyone puts out now. Um, because that's become the common thing. Look for drama-esque garbage-filled, toxic content. There's a, a plethora of that everywhere you look. Um, I don't do that anymore. I've completely changed from the person that I was eight, nine years ago. A silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just gonna say it one way, and hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. To be someone who cares about what he does, just wants to enjoy games at face value and, and hang out with you guys on a daily basis, have a good time, and not care about all the bullshit. You know, these streams are entertaining and fun enough without all the bullshit that I used to do, right? And I like that. I like that I've changed and grown. Um, <clears throat> so, if you're asking me about the quality of myself, I feel the stuff I do today is way more fun and way more positive and way more mature and way more interesting than the stuff I used to do because it used to be shock value, immature, potty humor, sexual humor, stuff that I did constantly back then. And now it's not like that at all. But the problem is the viewing audience has now been almost... They're, they've been honed in and trained to look for that. That's all they care about now on the internet. All they want is that immature, drama-esque nonsense. That's what they, they, they're creating. So that's why I'm not as popular as I used to be anymore. I mean, I'm still here 11 years later. <clears throat> but at the same time, nowhere near as popular as I ever was on YouTube. And I never want to go back to being like that. Just being very frank with all of you. I don't want to go back to that. Um, I like who I am. Now as a person, I feel that I've, you know, changed for the better. So, there's your answer, Dolphin Splash. Phil's just a, one of the worst e-beggars. Um, will I ever be as popular as I once was? Absolutely not. When you're someone like me, you can't be. But, you know, it is what it is. I like what I do. What's hilarious to this day is we still have idiots complaining about the pre-strain. Over 1,800 milligrams of sodium. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been doing pre-stream since I ever started streaming. All right, and it's never changed. There's still people complaining. If you're still not used to it, maybe you should just fucking grow up. I'm <laughs> just saying. I'm not putting up with the nonsense anymore. He's whining people in the stream chat. Okay. By the way, it's the same people. It's the same idiots who come in and complain about everything else too. They're just here to be negative idiots. So I'm not surprised. All right, here we go. Time to ban a bunch of idiots. I'm just gonna start banning these morons. Okay. I'm just going to ban, and then I ban them, like this. It's a lot of fun to lean forward and do that lean-in ban. Rogando Cerdo. That's like me. Free, right? That's like me. Free. Cheers. It's happy summer, man. Can't wait to watch some chill new games. I hear ya. All right. Crash and Burn tipped me a dollar and insulted me. Well, actually, it's not really an insult. It's, it's basically an attempt to cause drama. And I'll read it because this person's stupid. Why am I toxic? More toxic, more toxic. They said, what happened to your sub count, dude? Very simple. It fluctuated like it does every month. We have lost all of our subs completely. Actually, we haven't, but subs went way down because there was a big sub bomb about a month ago. Every month, my sub count fluctuates from as low as the high 300s all the way up to around 600 subs. <laughs> it depends on many factors, including what games I'm playing, how many new streamer, or excuse me, how many new viewers come to the streams because of new release content, etc. And also, if there's a monthly event going on. So earlier this month, we were almost at 550 subs. In fact, we exceeded 550 subs because people wanted to hit the sub goal. The sub count said, do this viewer's choice event. Now that that's over, 
people don't have as much incentive to sub or resub because the last couple of weeks I've been doing kind of downtime content. Now this week there'll be new release content and we'll probably get a surge of, a, of a interest again. This is the nature of the beast. This is how it works on Twitch. It's how it's always worked for me. This is any different than any other time. And it's hilarious that you get these chicken little people coming in here screaming the sky is falling, when in reality it's not the case at all, but what they're trying to do is stir up drama to make people worried when in reality there's nothing to worry about at all. So you don't have to worry about that at all, okay? So, there you go. I don't know, you know, why you're, you're freaking out. You shouldn't. Everything is cool. And in general, you know, subs fluctuate from time to time, and I fully expect the subs will go up and down over time. It's fine, all right? Hodor Targ here says, enable some fun extension where viewers can time out other chatters with them bits. It's called time out with bits. No. I recommend the fart button. No. Okay, um, let's see here. Egg Gangster Cheers, did you ever miss some of the people who used to be good fans but slowly became toxic and you were forced to ban them? No, why would I miss those people? You don't bite the hand that feeds you, I guess is what you say, but at the same time, when someone bites me, I'm gonna bite back. I said, guess what? I think it's finally time that DSP bites back a little bit. <laughs> why would I miss those people? There's people that slowly became toxic. You know, why would, why, why would I miss them? That doesn't even make any sense. Again, just quick reminder, as we're about to start off with, with Crash, the best way to contribute right now is to tip me because I need to afford all these games coming out in the next week to two weeks. There's a ton of them. So, any contributions via tips are much appreciated because those I get right away and I can put it right towards pre-ordering all these games. Negative people... Who are just asking for things. <laughs> what pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a Phil's a scammer. DSP is a DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to god I wish I fucking was.